guys, what's up? So I am so, so beyond excited because today is the day. Today is January 30th and it is the day that I am meeting Cody Simpson. I love Cody so, so much and I have VIP meet and greets to his concert tonight and I am so excited. Um, so I'm going, decided to make a video for you guys going through what I'm going to wear, what I'm doing, what I'm, uh, through the whole concert, and I'm going to even try to take the camera through the concert if I can, and, um, everything else. So it's really exciting, and so, look, guys, for the eyeshadow thing, I'm going to be using, uh, Rue 21, um, the 8 kit I got. Uh, I actually really like this kit and it was really cheap and I decided to use this for the show because there's a lot of shimmery colors and it just kind of fits. So, um, yeah, and I already have my mascara, everything done. So, yeah. Um, the first thing I'm going to be using is a regular brush and I'm going to be using this color. I don't know. It doesn't have a name. It's a third from the darkest side. I like that color a lot. It's a light brown and it looks like really good with my um light colored eyes. What's the meaning but I know it's strong and it's over you all I want is to be home with you. I did my regular curls with a straightener and as for accessories I have my gold watch from Macy's and the other two are homemade. So here you guys will see I have some black leggings from Love Culture, my tan heels from Aldo's, a denim jacket and necklace from my mom's closet, and a lace top from Wet Seal. Alright guys, so this was the gift I gave him. I got a bottle from Hobby Lobby that I painted up like the ocean because Cody in the ocean, you know, he's a surfer. And then I painted it like the ocean with other colors where I took it from a deeper blue up to lighter and then silver at the very top. And then the next thing I did was I wrote a letter to him, which ended up being four pages long. And I rolled it up and put some bands around it and then made a duct tape flower out of duct tape and out of blue and some silvers and gold, stuff like that. And then I stuck that inside of it and then stuck the letter into the bottle like message in a bottle out in the ocean. I then wrote acoustic sessions on the bottle and then filled it with about an inch of sand at the bottom and some beads into it to add a touch of color. And then the next thing I did was I put, I had an opening on the back of the bottle <coughs> where I made it into more of a surfboard, wrote 2014 and then left it open so he could see into the bottle. And it actually looks really cool when you put it in front of light because you could see right through it. So yeah. 
guys, so we're in line at the Cody Sunset concert and I'm really excited because I'm really getting really close. But it's freezing cold and I think it's like negative degrees. And here's my mom, hi mom. And we're in line and there's a lot of girls and then that's general admission and we're really close to the front. I'll show you. Okay, look. Oh, my God. Okay. Here's the line, guys. It's like really cold. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So, I'm just going to start from when we when we walked in there, into the venue. Um, the first thing we saw was, was this big line, and all the girls were freaking out about, like, seeing him and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, like, I saw, like, well, I didn't see him, but, like, as soon as I walked in, I saw the line, and then at the front of the line, all I saw was the top of his hair. Like, how funny is that? But, like, honestly, like, Cody, yeah, you know, his mountain of a hair, it was, like, it was like that's all I saw. So the top like blonde squiff sticking up over everything else. That's all I saw. So and I saw that out and that just was all a token. I was really excited. And then I got my we did roll call to get the tickets and then we got I got my VIP pass and then I was in line and then it just seemed like after that everything just went by so extremely fast. Um well, we waited in line, and then as we soon like got further and further up, I started getting like really more excited. And I didn't know if I was gonna cry when I saw him, if I was gonna just just be stupid, or just like I honestly didn't know how I would end up reacting when I finally got up there and it was my turn. But the line moved up, and it was finally my turn. And um, I hand the guy the camera, this is the camera to do the photo, and he's asked me how you know I was showing them how to do the photo. But Cody is standing there like looking at me, and I'm just like. I'm just like, my mind just went like out, and you guys know I talk a lot, but um, most of the girls, when they met him, they didn't say anything because they were so just starstruck from, you know, seeing Cody, and for me, I was starstruck, but me losing words is about equal to a normal person talking because I do talk a lot, so I was like, more or less, when I met him, I was more at a normal speed, a normal, like, tone of talking. So I I went up there and I remember the first thing I did was I gave him the bottle I made him and he was looking at it. He's like, whoa, this is really cool, you know? And um, he thought it was really awesome and everything. And he took the flower out and everything. He was looking on the bottle and stuff like that, sat down, you know? And then um, it was just, it was so crazy because like, the, especially the first time I heard him talk, his accent was so strong and it was just so like, it was just, it's so much more adorable in person, you know? Um, and then same with like his, his face, honestly, it was just, it was like seeing a, like a picture, like an image, it's, cause you're so used to seeing pictures of him all the time, when you finally see him in person, it doesn't seem real, honestly. And it was completely crazy. And so then after that, I gave him the picture, or gave him the bottle thing, and I'm like, I would just like to thank you because you inspired me to be in a movie and everything. And he's like, oh, really, what's it called? I'm like, it's an independent film in St. Louis, which some of you guys don't know that I was in a movie. And he, and he's like, oh, that's really cool. I'm like, yeah, it's in the letter. And he's like, oh, okay, I'll read it. And so he took it and um, put the bottle down, and then we got ready to, or right before the picture, the guy was still trying to over there, you know, with the camera, and I was like, I actually stood there for a while, and I said more than a lot of them, and talked to him, and I'm like, I'm like, I have to give you a hug, and like, I was, you know, I'm loud, and the whole line heard this, and Cody was just like, you know, gonna turn around, give me a hug, but I'm just like, koala him, I don't know what it was, but I'm just like, oh, and, and oh my gosh, the picture's actually so funny, like, when I look back and saw the picture, it was really funny, but I was just like, I like just clinged to him and he felt like, like because I just grabbed him like it wasn't even like I could, I should have probably waited but I was just so excited you know and, and the whole entire line at this point is all like aww and it was like really loud and I was like oh my god did that just happen like it was like it looked as awkward as it felt but it wasn't like it was like a good awkward but it was so crazy. And then after that we had to get the picture, and the guy didn't get the picture the first time, so we ended up standing there for a really long time, and the whole time while he's doing this, Cody was, I don't know if he does this to every meet and greet thing, or what it is, but he was, like, he put his arm on me, and then he was like, he did this, and then he grabbed me, and then he squeezed my arm, he did it like three times, and then he pulled me like really close, so he took the photo, and I was like, Probably the craziest thing that I haven't even got to yet is that during the show, like 
honestly, what is the odds this would happen? This, we were all standing there. I was standing there by these like three other girls who I became friends with. And this drunk lady comes up and starts shoving this girl. And the girl, that's an older girl, probably like 19 or so, she turns around and she shoves her. And like the, the drunk lady turns back around and shoves her and then like, she just starts pushing her way up there. She's like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I turn around and I said, so what do you, do you need someone? And she just is like, like she didn't have any words to say because she know I caught her right there. And then this drunk, like I probably shouldn't have said anything, but knowing me, I have to say something. And then she starts blowing up on my friend over here. And she's like, and um, she's like, no, uh, do you all know Brad personally? Does, did he give you all front row tickets and invite you personally to his show? Do you have his phone number? I'm like, I'm sure you do, but of course I didn't say that. And at this point, the mom who's standing right over here next to my mom turns around and starts going off on her. And she's like, she's like, no, you don't talk to my daughters like that. And all this crazy stuff saying that we were all her daughters, but you know, just saying that to get the lady to go away. Even though the only daughter was the girl in front of me and she was yelling at the girl beside me. So, yeah, but, and she just started going off nuts and late, and the drunk ladies then like, do you want to fight? you want to meet me in the alley and all this other crap? And then we're just turning around, like, the girls next to me are younger than me, and they were, like, scared, but I was scared, too. Like, I was terrified. Like, and it was really sad, too, because Cody was just about to come out. Like, he was about to walk out right then. And everyone's getting all excited. And the girls next to me are just like, I'm terrified. I'm, I'm so scared right now. Like, and then the girl in front of me is just like, just act like nothing's happening. Just ignore it, you know? So we're just sitting there like this. We're like, like so scared. And uh, the mom next to us is like, do you want me to call security? And then um, I was so scared the lady wasn't going to go away. And then at this point, Andrew Watt, um, the guitarist, starts going up on the stage on this side. And I was about to grab him and tell him that we, on it, we need help. Like, this lady's about to, like, start stuff. And the lady shoves all the drugs lady shoves all these girls and then all the girls go like on top of the stage pretty much in the front row all the way up turn around see this drunk lady turn right back around and then at this point the drunk lady just gets out of there we turn around she's gone and all the girls behind me are like bawling oh my gosh it was just crazy that's probably the craziest part that happened but then after that we were a little scared for about like not scared but more just like um like not emotion like emotionally still in shock you know and so then we, it took us a few minutes, and then Cody, you know, got us back, and we were fine, and it was all okay. But then, then the next thing that happened during the show, which was probably one of the best parts, was Cody came over in, right in front of me. I was right in the front on the stage. Cody kneels down, and he grabs my hand during the song, Not, uh, not Just You, or whatever. Um, oh my gosh, it was so crazy, and that's on video too, so you guys can watch that, and then that's about it. So you guys can just now see the photos and the video, and that was my experience of meeting Cody Simpson. And just thank you, Cody, for making it such a phenomenal night, and thank you to everyone on the acoustic tour for making it such a good tour, because I know I wasn't the only one who loved it. And we really appreciate it and can't wait for the next album. But yeah, so that's the end of my concert experience. Peace, love, love you guys.